Greetings all, Fanny here with Aquarius's Daily Oracle Message. I've already got your cards out. Uh, it's still Christmas energy going on around my house and someone needed to come talk to me and interrupted my flow. So instead of trying to go off of that, I just restarted yours. You, uh, Aquarius, have a very beautiful message that came out to wind out this year. The first card I want to bring up to you is the storyteller intention. I am the narrator of my life. I am that who holds the pen, that who sees all, and that who tells and writes the story. And your story is one that should be shared because you have the winged messenger of creation. Spiritual direction inspires my creative flow. And the medicine woman heal. I nurture and nourish my mind, body, and soul. <clears throat> Now, initially, I was saying you might be using your creative talents to pour out the energy and the emotions that have been stuck inside of you so that you can heal. But I actually feel like it's you, it's more of you using your creative abilities to tell your story. Maybe to write an autobiography or depict a character going through the experiences that you have gone through and how you healed from them and overcome them and the lessons that you learned. Because I promise you, Aquarius, the struggles that you have gone through, the things that you have experienced, there are other people who are going through similar struggles. And because you've made the choice to heal yourself, because you've made the choice to become a new version of yourself, to not hang on to those negativities and pour yourself into that which you love, you are a beacon, you are a guiding star to people who are still trapped to people who are still going through that pain that you have already experienced and conquered, my love. And I believe you could change the world for a lot of people if you chose, if you chose that path. Of course, it is a choice. That's, the, that's why we have free will. We could do whatever we want with our life. If we find our soul's purpose and we feel drawn to it, we could choose to follow it or we could choose not to. And there are several reasons why people would choose not to. Some people don't believe in something like that. Some people don't feel like they deserve it <clears throat> or that it's even for them. Some people feel like that they, they may be selfish for doing this. I want to bring this one out as well. You have the Moonstone Star Passion. I am entering a portal of euphoric love and the universal midwife birth. I birth fruitful and sacred assignments, another energy of creation, another energy of healing because euphoric love is much more than just sexual passion. It's self love of the highest order of authenticity. It's joy and passion and love and compassion for other people. It's enjoying life again, finally having fun with your everyday. You have the mother of the sea, goddess. I am surrendered to the boundless creative flows of the ocean. That's another story of creativity. So Aquarius, there is something about your talents, your skills, your gifts, what you create with your hands or with your voice or with your mind even. Whatever it is that you create, Use it to tell your story, whether it be claymation, uh, pixel art, um, creative writing, making a video game, whatever it is, however it is you express yourself, however it is you share your passion and share your creativity, use that to tell your story. If you feel called to it, of course, that is why you are the narrator of your life. You can take or leave anything that you hear here or anywhere else in your life. Take what resonates and leave the rest, my love, because it's not for everyone. You are not for everyone. And that's what makes you this holy child. This star seed, a divine child of the universe. And that's also what makes you loved by the star mother. The universal mother supports and loves me totally. You also have gateways of light, infinite. I have infinite access to the divine mind. You, my love, 
have so much support, so much creation in itself. Outside of your creative abilities, you have the medicine woman, the universal midwife, the mother of the sea, the star mother, and the holy child. Everything to create and bring a child into this world is here in your story. And of course, this does not have to be a physical child if that's something that you're not ready for. This could be the birth of a business, an enterprise, or the birth of a new you. Whatever it is, I want you to go forth in your creativity, in your passion, in your bliss. What makes you blissfully happy like you were when you were a child? What gives you that just awe-inspiring wonder? And spend more time on that. Focus more on that. Just because you've become an adult doesn't mean the wonder in your heart dies. It only fades away. And like a sore muscle that hasn't been stretched in a while, it feels weird to go back to it after so long. But after some exercise, time, and attention, I promise you, you will never wish, you will never want to stop again because your creativity, your passion, feeling that level of just pure happiness. It's still there for you to claim, but you have to go and find out what makes you truly happy. And sometimes that can be scary. But don't be afraid of your destiny, my love. Don't be afraid of being who you are. And don't be afraid of being happy. Because you deserve it. Have a beautiful day, Aquarius.